Our today's topic is Deuteronomy and fossil record, and in which we will be discussing the remaining part of the fossil preservation. In the previous session, we have discussed that how a fossil, how an organism is changed after that, right? So there, there is some burial and there is some changes in its structure. Now we will see that what are the next changes which are taking place, and in that we will be discussing first about the breakage and transport. Breakage means it is uh, broken down and transport, it is taken from one place to another. So there are several processes of breakage, one of those is physical, another one is the chemical. The physical includes the disarticulation, fragmentation and abrasion, while in the chemical we, that includes the bioerosion, corrosion and dissolution. So first of all, we will be discussing about the disarticulation. Wherever the word dis comes, that means uh, a way, right? So it means opposite of what is coming next, right? So it is a suffix, which uh, it is a prefix which is coming after, uh, if any words comes after it, that means it is opposite of that, right? So disarticulation is opposite of articulation. So articulation is, for example, if I am moving my, bo uh, my uh, arm, so this is articulation. My uh, my forearm is articulating with my arm, right? So now this is the articular joint. So disarticulating means this part of uh, arm is separated from this part of the arm. So that means the disarticulation means that skeletal remains, which are in the form of bones, they are dispersed. Skeletons that are made from several parts may become disarticulated. They become separated and into component parts. And uh, th this might result after scavenging or decay of the connective tissue. One thing is that there was some animal who fed on it. And during the uh, process of feeding, he uh, took these off, right? So he uh, uh, dispersed all those things off. But the second thing is that the joints which are joining both of these, there are some parts of the muscles or tendons which are joining these. If those are uh, uh, decayed, right, so there are some bacteria working on those, then this may result into the disarticulation. And the next thing is fragmentation, right? So the bones are not impervious to the forces of the nature. Uh, there might be some shearing forces and that may result into the bone damage, right? So, for example, skeletons may also become fragmented. And how does it happen? The individual shells, bones, or pieces of wo woody tissue break into smaller pieces, usually lines of weakness. We know that there are various uh, joints which are joining our bones, right? So uh, those are the weak points of the bones as well, right? So th those are called fibrous joints. And sometimes what happens that after uh, decay has completed, the bones are normally... Uh, broken down along those joints. So, and after that, there is abrasion, right? So, wherever the uh, word abrasion comes, that means uh, abrasive. Uh, you may have heard about an adjective. That means when you take something off by just uh, slough it off, uh, is ragarna, isi cheez se, jase regmar hai, regmar is abrasive piece of paper, right? So, just like sandpaper. So abrasion is shells and uh, shells, bone and wood may be abraded by physical grinding and polishing against each other and ag against other sedimentary grains. This normally happens in the streams, right? So nadiyo nalo mein aisa hota hai ki whenever uh, water is coming along, it is brushing those uh, pieces of uh, rock or wood or whatever these are uh, into each other, and this results into any formation. Agar Unki surface pe koi khurdri cheeze hain, to wo usse utar jayenge. And then uh, breakage, uh, of course, then there comes the chemical uh, effects. There are There is a bioerosion, the removal of skeletal material by boring organism, uh, such as sponges, algae, and bivalves. So sometimes what happens that organisms just bore through it. That means, uske andar khudai karke, uske andar chale jayenge. 
اور اس میں سے ساری چیزیں نکال کے خود بھی کھا لیں گے اور اس کو بھی تباہ کر دیں گے تو شیلز بونس اینڈ ووڈ میں انڈر گو بایو ایروجن نارملی تو لاگس کوئی درخت گر گیا تو اس کے اندر جو ہے وہ ووڈ ایٹنگ سیپروٹراپس دے وڈ جسٹ گو ان دیئر اینڈ اٹ ویل ایٹ اٹ اپ اینڈ دین دیر از کروشن اینڈ ڈیزولوشن کروشن از سم تھنگ آن دا سرفیس اینڈ ڈیزولوشن مینس دیٹ وین سم تھنگ از ڈیزالو سو بفور اینڈ آفٹر دا بریلس کیلتل میٹیریل آر کامنلی کروڈیڈ اینڈ ڈیزالو بائی دا کیمیکل ایکشن رائٹ سو اف دیر از سم ویک ایسڈک واٹر دے آر گوئنگ آن اینڈ دا شیل از میڈ اپ آف کیلسیم کاربونیٹ سو ایسڈ واٹر ول بی ڈیزالونگ اٹ الانگ دا آفٹر دا لانگ ٹائم دیر وونٹ بی اینی شیل بیکاز آل آف اٹ ول بی ڈیزالو سو اینڈ آفٹر دیٹ دیر آر دا بریل اینڈ ماڈیفیکیشنس رائٹ سو بریل اینڈ ماڈیفیکیشن دا ریمینس آر ٹیپیکلی بریل بریڈ آفٹر اسکیونجنگ ڈیکے بریکیج اینڈ ٹرانسپورٹ اینڈ سیڈیمینٹیڈ از سیڈیمینٹ از واشڈ اور بلون اوور دا ریمینس اینڈ دا اسپیسیمنٹ بیکمس ڈیپلی بریڈ سو دیر آر ٹو پاسبلٹیز ون از دیٹ سم تھنگ ہیپنڈ اینڈ اٹ از گون فرام دا سرفیس اور سم تھنگ ہیپنڈ اینڈ اٹ از گون down in the uh, uh, the deeper layers of the earth and it is modified to become a fossil during and after the burial the specimen may undergo physical and chemical change addition of calcium carbonate is called carbonate concretion uh, we have discussed about the uh, fossils of the feces right so the coprolite those are called coprolite coprolites are phosphatized that means they are there is the addition of phosphates in them and after that there is the plant preservation we have discussed both plants and animals before but the plants have some other methods of preservation as well so through petrification or a petrification putrefaction petrification or cellular permineralization so petrification means that the whole thing uh, is petrified petrified means gal sad jana so plants are you know decayed and after that there is permineralization that means the salts or minerals are deposited in the tissues of the cells and coal balls coal balls are present in the north american uh, coal deposits in which the plants uh, and their materials the leaves seeds cones pine cones all of these are in the form of balls and those balls are carbonate uh, the calcium carbonate is uh, surrounding those balls so these are perfect specimens which are containing various information of the ancient plants and qualified compression these are present uh, in the coal deposits and uh, the cementation uh, again we have discussed about that the calcium carbonate deposits uh, if th- those are happening in the tissues and direct p- preservation of the hard parts the wood is direct uh a uh, hard part of the plants and it is directly preserved as it is uh with the help of permineralization the minerals are deposited inside the uh cellular compartments of the cellulose and that in turn results into the uh direct preservation <laughs>